The definition of sexual abuse within the context of the cases that we handle would include the violation of someone's trust and privacy and their body in a way that has impacted them for all their life. And everyone, I think, would agree that experiencing sex abuse as a child will irrevocably and undeniably affect you for the rest of your life. Levy Konigsberg represents hundreds of predominantly children that were sexually abused. These are now adults that are facing these horrors often for the very first time. Things that they've kept secret from their family members maybe only revealed to therapists and now have the right to go back and sue either the school, the church, or wherever and whomever that abused them. And it's a very delicate relationship and it requires a depth of knowledge and ability to go in and represent them and bring them justice. We have very, very high verdicts. We always really work for the highest recovery, and that helps people a lot if they're in financial distress because of being sexually abused. Some people can't work after the abuse. It's just destroyed their lives in a way that they can't keep a job, or it's hurt them. It hurts marriages, and it hurts in every area of their lives. When we can help financially, it's very important to us. The old statute of limitations essentially prevented people who were sexually abused as children from seeking recourse and justice because of such a short time period within which they had to bring their claims. This idea of correcting that statute of limitations and restoring people's abilities to have agency over their own justice is the reason why that law was passed that prospectively, it extends the statute of limitations for child sex abuse until age 55 in New York. Levy Konigsberg doesn't shy away from the big defendants. In our sex abuse litigation, we go up against the biggest of the big entities, such as the churches, the schools, and the other large institutions that protected sex abusers.